name is Frank Daimel from Daimel Guitar Works and uh, in this video I'm going to present you uh, a very very new idea uh, based on our um, experimental Firestar guitar which you see here. This is our Firestar model and um, on this guitar we have um, built in a lot of uh, extra features behalf of the customer we uh, found a solution for connecting um, everything inside here especially the pickup leslie which i will explain to you here uh, to a modular synthesizer i will quickly explain to you how the leslie is working um, it's a unit as it's a circuit built into the guitar and it automates the this toggle switch and once I activate the Leslie, it will alternate the pickups in a certain speed. I can adjust the speed here on this wheel and I can adjust the intensity here. I can quickly show you how it sounds. So this is the normal guitar. And now I activate the Leslie. Here is a stereo Leslie. We are offering both types, a mono and a stereo Leslie. This one is stereo and um, it has a lot of features, especially the connection to the modular synth. So actually you can use it as a regular guitar in mono or stereo, which you can decide on this switch. You can say this is a mono sound, this is the stereo sound. So you always have every signal on both amplifiers if you are having a stereo setup. There's a, uh, actually a way to get uh, to the LFO of that circuit, of that Leslie circuit, and we are putting it out by um, XLR cable, a five pole XLR cable, or alternatively directly, it's a wave in, wave out jack. And uh, we have a regular mono stereo jack for the regular use of the guitar. Then the main part of it is that we have this waveform selector switch. Uh, so you can um, control by sending out the waveform if it's syn in sync with a modular or uh, with any other device understanding the uh, CV or the waveform voltages. So we are, this is uh, the off mode, this is the first wavelength, uh, the waveform, it's a square waveform. Then we have the triangular waveform, and this is a pure CV out, which you, where you can actually do a lot. And we um, use um, a breakout box, uh, which is uh, looking like this. And this allows actually um, to be um, freely uh, or off any other cables, you are not connected directly to a modular. Uh, everything gets lead out here through the five pole XLR plug and um, it goes directly into this box. And then um, the outputs left and right for the Leslie are here. And we have also the wave in and the wave out here. And we have an additional piezo out. This is um, only for the neck piezo. So if you want to do something with this kind of sound and you want to manipulate that, you can feed it out here extra. And yeah, this uh, is a very useful device because the cable is five meters, so I can freely move on the stage while um, the um, friend on the modular can actually work on his machine and while I'm playing on this guitar and it's sort of like getting a interactive creative situation. The fourth switch is, uh, is an ex external internal switch where you can decide if the Leslie is um, putting a synced clock signal out of the guitar 
or if it receives any um, clock from another, another device. This is the, so to say, vice versa switch. We can decide if it's this is the master and this is the slave or modular is the master and this is the slave. In the end, you actually can create two different types of speeds and rhythms, which is very interesting. We have a piezo, and it's not only one, it's two, and it's actually in the headstock of the guitar. So we have one here and one there, and the wires are running on the side through the neck to the circuit. And uh, then we have two piezos in the body. There's one on the backside here and one on the backside of the tremolo. And these are contact discs which take body vibration. It's a resonance in the guitar, so it's not to um, compare to a Western guitar style sound, but it does a lot of uh, extra noises and sounds which you can use for ambient or um, very nice soundscapes, whatever you want. And the idea is also that if you turn on the volume, uh, we have it wired that way that the piezos go on the output. So it's um, mixing and while I turned on the volume, you have more piezo, less pickups. Until you turn to zero, then everything is off. Pickup behind bridge. This is a feature we often present in our experimental guitar. And it takes everything which happens here, all the overtones, but um, it most often makes sense in the connection in, with the Leslie because once I activate the Leslie and I activate this pickup instead of that, the um, rotation or the alternation is between the neck and the pickup behind bridge. I can quickly show it to you. So this is the pickup itself and now it's in connection with the Leslie. Then we have a kill switch here, which can kill the regular signals. And uh, once I have the piezos on, they will remain, but the other signal is killed. So that's also another feature, which is quite unique. Yeah, so far, this is our Firestar Leslie Synchronizer guitar. Mm -hmm. 